What's up guys? My name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, as you can see, we've got something behind us that is special here on the Corvette, on the Arctic Vet channel, I should say. But first, let's roll that intro and dive into it. They seem to have done it. We have three people! Yep. Three people! Three people on. All right, so behind me, we have a 1990 Corvette, and I've got Corbin over here, the owner, and he might talk about it just a little bit but first let's talk about the car and what we want to show you guys today what he's wanting to do is he's wanting to sell this and it says 1990 chevy corvette convertible top and guys this thing is clean i know it's dirty i know it is a little dirty but this thing is clean like dang and i'm telling you if i had the money to buy this this would be a great car to jump right back into the corvette scene with We've got that 5.3 liter fuel injected, 350 oh, what do you on it. Want these? Uh, you want those rocks? Uh, no, on. Okay. Well, where are you? you can put them in the car, bub. I need. Don't put them in my pocket. It's unlocked. <laughs> Makes it fun. So it runs nice and good drives nice and straight mm -hmm. don't have any problems with it what's your reasoning for wanting to sell it i'm just uh looking for a truck I just looking have, for a truck i have no need for a sports car <laughs> there we go it was a gift and my uncle wanted me to buy what i wanted out of it there you go that's a good thing right there so he just wants to get himself a truck man I can't, I can't say I don't disagree. Trucks are a lot more handy than Corvettes. <laughs> Own one for four years. I guess let's go ahead and pop this top on there. Let's show them that. There's no rips, no holes or anything like that in there. And then uh, we can go ahead and start this puppy up. So boom, just like that. She goes down. Oh, we yeah, really gotta lock her down thing. Yeah. Unless you want to, there you go. Not bad, not bad at all. And then I'll go ahead and get you guys in here. So, so seats, man, they look good. I mean, most time, this here and down here are gonna be your number one problems because of getting in and out of them. But as far as everything else, look at, that looks good. Passenger seat there too. You got your trunk which yes yes you can use your corvette to go get your groceries and that's perfectly fine because i've done it i've done it a lot <laughs> two suitcases yeah i packed for a full week in florida with my ex-wife in a corvette and it held everything plus a cooler let's go ahead and fire this puppy up let's let him hear that Man, I miss that. <laughs> Dang. Set this back down so you can see the hood. Yeah, go ahead. Good call, good call. Man, the trick with those hoods, you got to pull the little pole back and then get it lined up and drop it down. It took me forever to figure that out on Carrie's Corvette. <laughs> that right there is something special. Pop-up lights both working. That works. And that, that alone, just, man, I had trouble with mine on my Corvette. And the way that these ones flip, a little bit cooler than mine. <laughs> Pop-up life, for sure. So anyways, if you guys are truly interested in this car, this Corvette right here, go ahead, get a hold of my man Corbin right here. 
I'm gonna put some information down below so you can get a hold of him. And I'll go ahead and uh, what was your asking price you want to put in here? No, let's shoot for 12. Shoot for 12. So 12,000, 1990 Chevy, Chevy Corvette. Get the words out there. <laughs> With 132,000 miles on it. I don't, I think I left that out earlier, but it is 132,000 miles on it. And man, this thing doesn't even look like that. It doesn't look like it's had that much life put into it. It was bought in Arizona. Bought in Kepner, Arizona. Kept in a garage, only Sunday cruiser by an old couple. Got sold uh, to a couple in Michigan right down the street from my uncle. Then from there, uh, my uncle ca caught his come eye on, here, baby. and uh, he wanted to buy it, he bought it. I'm not sure what he paid for it, but that was about 10 years ago. And he kept it in the garage under a car cover the whole time. So this car has been garage kept. No wonder it looks so dang clean. Maybe from Michigan, but only out during the summer when it was 75 degrees. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have I would have done any different, yes. honestly. <laughs> The only problem is the air conditioning doesn't work. But why would okay. you have air conditioning when you have a convertible? Exactly. You don't need AC. You just drop that top. And the heater will make you sweat. Get get your lady hop in that passenger seat right there. She'll love it with that top down. So if you guys are truly interested, check that info down below. <laughs> oh, yes. Cohen! <laughs> Stay right there. Okay. okay. That's just 2K. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and park. We're gonna go ahead and end off the video there. If you guys enjoy it, smash that thumbs up. And if you are interested in the car, definitely hit up Corbin, my man right here, and let him know because he's he wants to sell it. He wants to get himself a nice truck. And this would be a great, great thing to get you a nice truck with. So don't forget, click that red subscribe button. Drop some comments down below. If you got any questions, let me know. I can get you in touch with him. Have a great day, and God bless. Catch you guys in the next video.